Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Aquarius. If Aquarius is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Okay, let's get started. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> we got a lot going on tonight, Aquarius. Um, let's check this. Uh, <laughs> let's check this bowl out. Okay. So it looks like we have like a lot of little things going on here. And. Hmm. Okay. It looks like we are in the midst of making some big choices. Um, and I want to start with this middle formation. It's actually a few, um, but kind of all together. It looks like a person kind of in the middle and then these other, uh, they're not exactly like humanoid, but kind of, you know, they, to me, it looks like a lot of thoughts happening, a lot of scenarios, a lot of planning, visualizing choices to be made, kind of deciding what is the path forward for you. Okay. Um, now I know that there's been a lot of interior work happening in, uh, the past couple of months, right? Um, a lot of the readings have been about focusing on, um, your spiritual stuff, your, um, relationship with your beloved, um, living a life that kind of supports that interior work. And, um, I think all that is still very true. Uh, but this week, um, this period of time happening now and going forward, uh, I think that a lot of this is going to be about, um, taking some of the inspiration, the, the cultivated ideas, um, this kind of reorientation that you have been going through, um, and manifesting some of it, bringing it from, uh, that kind of more abstract, um, psychic realm, bringing it into the material world. Okay, um, I really, I get the, I, I get the strong feeling that there's already, um, you've already excelled at at least a few things in your life. Um, maybe within your career field, um, this could be, um, in that spiritual zone in your family life. Um, here I'm kind of seeing, it almost looks like, um, a seated bull, uh, or a person with like a bull head. In my mind, this really is about that career path, about, um, about the physical realm where you have, uh, either, you know, gone to school and, uh, gone into your chosen field, industry, or you are self-taught possibly, or you've, you know, gone through a trade or something. You have a developed skill set. Um, you are uh, probably, you know, fairly um, successful, at least stable, right? Um, and then I want to look over here with this. It looks like a frog. 
And this for me represents more of that spiritual path, the work that you are doing, um, the, per the personal self alchemy, spiritual alchemy, um, which is very much in line with the things we've been talking about, right? I think that this is maybe um, some of the stuff that you are really uh, drawn to, this work, um, all aspects of it, especially probably the, the research, the, the reading, the ritual. Um, and I get the impression that you may be mostly a solitary practitioner, um, which listen, no matter what system you are in, just like anything in life, we are um, often with ourselves, right? Uh, I think that probably you've spent a lot of your um, higher working life and in, in the esoteric, spiritual, self-healing, um, occult, whatever it looks like uh, for you or all of those things. Um, you have been self-led, um, inspired by the things that things and authors and practitioners you've read um, and, you know, continue to, to develop strongly in that area. Here I see a figure that reminds me of um, of Euros or Cupid, um, kind of this love symbol with the um, person and kind of this arrow um, in the chest a little bit. Um, I think that probably also your family, love life, um, partnership, uh, you know, is also very important to you, um, which makes sense. And um, these things kind of, you know, are all, are all developed to their to some extent right you have cultivated these three spheres definitely now I think that through the work that you have been doing recently um there is some interest for you in like we talked about at the beginning here um finding a way and I'm sorry my cat is <laughs> <laughs> wants my attention. Um, finding a way of taking some of this energy, inspiration, these maybe some of the uh, ideas that have presented themselves to you, um, that you have formulated, um, conceived, and bringing them into your physical world. I think that it makes sense that you would want to apply some of this to each part of your life. Um, now... I want to talk about, let's see, we have, I want to talk about the card really quick. We have the, um, the ace of discs or pinnacles, whatever, um, you prefer to call it. And maybe this is the top, maybe I have it upside down. I don't, I don't do the inverted or, um, whatever. So reverse. So, um, this is the ace of, uh, the ace, or maybe it's not, maybe it's this way. I don't know. It's this way because of the six, six, six. Okay. So this is, um, the ace of discs or pinnacles, panicles, whatever. I don't, <laughs> I just call them discs. Um, so this is about definitely, um, in some systems, about the material gain. It's all about that kind of beginning of the material gain, gain and um, kind of sowing the seed. This is the seed of progress of, um, of that material success of um, bringing, like we talked about, concepts into being. Um, this is very much about the power of the earth. So we think about kind of planting those ideas in that... Um, you know, rich soil so that it will um, nurture that idea and it will spring forth, right? Um, become, begin its life in the world. Um, and so uh, I think that 
this all makes sense. I mean, it, you know, obviously I saw this card before I, I started, so it kind it does. It sets the tone of what I'm going to be seeing here. Um, but I really, I feel that you're really in this place of just kind of um, deciding where are you going to put your energies? Where are you going to um, spend your time? Um, kind of, you know, uh, that passion, creative energy um, that you have coming through. Um, and where is that going to happen? Now, I do want to look at this formation right here. And to me, this looks like kind of um, like a gavel coming down. And that's like, you know, a judge has a gavel. And so the, it seems that there's been some kind of judgment in your favor. And I think that this is more emotional, um, psychic. And I think that this is kind of like the universe um, almost rewarding you for the the work you have been doing, the time you have, have been spending to, uh, you know, dig through your psyche, through your emotions, through that connection that you have with spirit, um, and to, and, and honoring it, uh, honoring, honoring all of these things by the way that you're living, the way that you're spending your energy, your time, um, your resources, and so um, now you are kind of getting this judgment in your favor, right? So now you have more uh, spiritual, emotional, maybe even um, financial resources coming your way to kind of foster this work that is coming into being. Um, I want to see... Um, Okay, so this one is so interesting to me. It looks like a person kind of doing like the head and the, the um, body. And then it looks like the legs are straight out like it's doing the splits. Okay, so to me in this situation, um, I feel like you have been considering uh, kind of expanding your skill set, your knowledge. Um, I think if this is like applicable to your career path or whatever you do for work, um, this is something like uh, going back to school for like more specialized training or I mean it could be that you want to like start over and um, go into another field. But I feel like this is more like you want to stay possibly in the work that you do or at least within the industry that you work in. But um, to make yourself maybe more marketable, um, do more specialized learning, training, um, and so that you can further your skill set and kind of have the ability to move around a little bit more, make more choices about maybe where you want to work, how you want to work, what you want to do exactly. Um, and I think that that is, you know, a wonderful thing. I think it's really, and I've talked about this in <laughs> probably too many readings, but I am a strong believer in um, continued learning all through life. I think that, and it doesn't have to just be for work or financial thing, or you know, financial gain. Um, but I think it's important that we're always learning new things. We're always learning how to do things. We're learning about, um, you know, all kinds of random stuff that uh, maybe is. <laughs> related to our lives and maybe it's not but it's important to keep learning every single day and so I fully support this uh kind of energy of uh wanting to do have more kind of skills um in your tool belt or tool chest or whatever the saying is um, but also I think that this is really all like totally applicable to, um, your spiritual journey as well. Um, I think that as I had, um, mentioned that there might be, um, 
some tendency towards solitary, uh, like a, being a solitary practitioner or uh, maybe even like self-initiated. Um, and I know that, and this might be boring to some people, this little part here, I don't, I don't know, but, um, bear with me. <laughs> um, I know that there's kind of a divide sometimes between people who are self-initiated and people who, um, maybe, uh, study through systems or belong to orders or, you know, grade systems or whatever. Um, I feel that you have come to a point where you might find some benefit in more social um, interactions in your learning and in your initiation. Um, and if not socially, because there are systems that are still solitary work, um, but it's still like a graded system, right? Um, so I think maybe going into a, uh, into some kind of system or order, um, temple, whatever it is that you find, you know, that is moving to you. Um, I think that it makes sense to kind of, um, have a desire to do something that is kind of already a little bit standardized and, there's already kind of a framework. Um, there's, you know, there's already curriculum available. Um, now I do know that it's, it's difficult when you have to go from, um, kind of just, you know, following your own, um, you know, inspiration or motivation or, uh, whatever, and just kind of studying here and there and whatever. And then you go into a system where you are, um, suddenly a probationer again, or, um, you know, a, a novice and, um, or novice or whatever, however you want to say it. But, um, you have to start from the bottom and <laughs> there can be a little bit of a blow to our pride, our ego, and also just kind of feels tedious. But I do feel that you have come into a space where you are kind of open to beginning again. And this, I think, it totally um, overlaps into that work uh, kind of energy as well, where you are willing to, although you might be, you know, a master, um, of what, whatever it is that you, you know, whatever you do for work, um, you are willing to start at the bottom again, humble yourself a little bit and, um, start learning from square one. Right. And that's, <laughs> that can feel like a lot. Um, but I think that it's important that we do this sometimes. Um, get out of our comfort zone. If you don't like it, you don't have to finish, you know, um, that's always, you know, the case for anything, right? So I think that with this energy, it's really going to be to your benefit to kind of ride this wave and, um, kind of just get out there and try some new things. Um, you might, I mean, ultimately you might find something that, you didn't realize it was going to be so aligned with your path, right? Um, something that is profoundly um, pleasurable or um, you feel just such an affinity for doing this kind of work or learning these certain things that maybe you would have never had any contact with if you did not go down this path. So I think really, you know, think about it, decide I'm going to, you know, I'm in favor of you trying some new things. Definitely. Um, let's see. I want to look at, I'm interested in this one because it, it looks like a person for sure. And it kind of, it looks like somebody reclining, okay? And in this emotional um, zone, in the psychic zone, it makes me think that this is a good time as well to 
and this makes sense, right? Um, going into something uh, that has kind of a prescribed um, system of learning, okay? Um, and although you definitely are going to apply yourself and go through the process of, um, of experiencing this, this new thing, um, sometimes it's nice to just kind of get on board with something that's already been formulated for us. Um, it can be very, very, very tiring to be the person that's always kind of out hunting, gathering, um, you know, the things that you want to learn about. It can be that you find a bunch of different stuff, a bunch of different, like what books or, um, you know, lectures or different kinds of, I don't, whatever it is, skills you want to learn. But by the time you get them home to, to work on them, you're already fatigued and it kind of just sits in a pile and it gathers dust and so on. So it's nice to sometimes um, give yourself over to a system to just kind of go through. It doesn't mean that has to be like the, you know, you don't have to be married to it. Um, but take from it what benefits you, right? And just the process itself is its own journey and something different. And again, like I said, if you don't like it, give it up, you know? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff happening here. just seeing a lot of kind of like things that in this part of this is because I just love Saturn but the same um it looks kind of reversed but it looks similar to the Saturn um symbol and we have a couple of little um of little kind of hooks and this one here so you know, while all of this is happening, and I think that there's a lot of, um, of that beginning energy, that kind of, um, budding passion, excitement, um, just really, uh, you know, just really wanting to see, um, where this is going to lead and putting your all into it. I also just think that it's important to, uh, you know, just temper yourself where you can and, um, you know, don't, when, when it starts to wear off and as you are going along, um, I think it's just good to pace ourselves, uh, because I think, um, you can have a tendency towards, um, coming down off of that initial excitement and then settling into um, a bit of a melancholy uh, where things aren't paying off or going as fast as you want them to. But I think that this is also really going to be um, kind of a meditation in a little bit of longevity right? And now I'm saying you don't have to marry yourself to whatever thing that you decide to apply yourself to, but I do think it's important to try to see it through as much as possible. Um, to, you know, keep your fires going. They don't have to be burning out of control. It doesn't have to be some huge bonfire, right? But keeping them burning steadily, um, tending to the coals, right? Um, and just continuing on even when you are pressed by this kind of Saturnine energy that kind of is lingering at the edges. Um, you are 
no, um, you know, stranger to this, I believe. Right. So, um, I think it's just really about, um, you know, just tempering things a little bit, tempering your expectations a little bit, maybe, and just, you know, trying to enjoy what it, what it is in the moment. And when it gets difficult, applying yourself, you know, nose to the grindstone of it and just thinking about the other end of it. Okay. What, where is this going to lead to? Um, and I really think that as this journey kind of, um, starts to reveal itself, there will be more opportunities. I feel that there's a lot of, a lot of this kind of, um, like materials in the kind of aether, right? And, um, they are ready to be formed into a lot of, um, options for you. Okay. And so the more you work, the more that these things are going to form and you will have more and more options available to you. And that's always a nice feeling. It, I mean, it really is empowering to have the ability to, you know, go this way or go that way. And it's not out of like a desperation. Okay. Now I want to look at this. And really what this says to me is kind of that, uh, you know, I, and I'm terrible at, um, quotes. I love quotes and <laughs> little sayings, but, um, to recall them exactly is not really my forte, but, um, kind of the sentiment is this idea of being like the leaf on the river, just kind of letting the current take you along, um, surrendering yourself to the way. And I think that this really, this kind of flowing feeling that we have here, especially in this tea leaf, um, just a feeling of letting yourself be swept away a little bit, not out of control, but, uh, reserving some of your vital energies for the parts that you're going to need them. Um, the other parts, I think just kind of being a passenger in some of this situation. Okay. And also kind of, um, relinquishing your perception of control of every minor detail. Okay. Um, I think not every of some of the minor details, right? <laughs> so kind of going with the flow and, um, and I think that's, you know, where we're at really, uh, Aquarius and, Hopefully this resonates with some of you. I, I really do. Um, I feel like we're kind of building on a story or at least like kind of a theme that is coming through in some of these readings for Aquarius and um, excited to see where it goes. Uh, I also am a lunar Aquarius. So um I'm going to take some of these, <laughs> I'm going to take some of these uh, little messages to heart myself and try to apply them and definitely learn some things. I need to, you know, I don't know, maybe go join something, <laughs> go get some coursework. Um, okay. So I want to thank you so, so, so much. And I, as always, appreciate you, and I'm always so honored to bring these messages to you. If you would be so kind as to like the video, it helps me get in the algorithm. And as uh, I'm sure you've seen on the other channels, people uh, mentioning that the algorithm has not been super friendly. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm fairly new to YouTubing, so I don't exactly know how it's all supposed to go, but I know that it, you know, not a lot of the videos, um, for other people within the kind of divination, tarot reading, these kinds of things that some of them are, um, 
having trouble kind of building their channels and stuff. So um, every little like, every little, um, sub, you know, subscribing and commenting, all, all of the engagement is really helpful. And also, I just appreciate it so much. I'm not super worried about building the channel quickly. I just really hope that um, those of you who do watch the readings um, will feel like this is a kind of, you know, a space where we can talk about things that maybe other people aren't really talking about a lot, a place that is inclusive, a place that is, you know, not coming from a place of judgment and really just trying to figure out how to get through this life thing together, right? Um, just getting through the days sometimes. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you all. And uh, we will be back in seven days with another reading. In the meantime, you can watch your other placements. And um, all right, Aquarius, we'll talk again soon.